Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question today. We can use this desktop AC coolers here uh, without this filter. I mean, it's not a real filter. It's uh, uh, it's not filtering the air. I mean, some of these manufacturers are claiming that it's filtering the air. It's actually not filtering. Most people are thinking, okay, when we have the water in here, it goes down. When you turn it on, you can see that here there's a valve and there's something like a nebulizer and, and then the water is coming down here. It's somehow nebulized. It is pushed by the fan here out and through these filter uh, mats here and then coming out a little bit cooler. I mean, it's not a total scam. It's more or less working uh, uh, as long as you have dry air inside. I turn this thing off to have it a little bit more quiet here. Yeah. But the problem is that over time this gets wet and dry and wet and dry and sometimes it the, even stays very long uh, wet and it can build up some uh, fungus and nasty stuff maybe even multiply bacteria uh, build mold and those things and this is the uh, last thing which you want to have in here so the question is can we run this thing without this filter mats and have same effect yeah turn this thing on again so you can see it a little bit better when we look underneath you can see hopefully here that there's some fog definitely it's coming out from the top here i hope i can show you that that's somewhere here in the back here is a hole uh, there the like the fog is coming out and it looks really like a, like a real fog like you have in the restaurant for cooling these uh, outdoor seating areas and you'd think okay yeah turn this thing off again uh, you would think why do we really need this thing here yeah, unfortunately, I have to tell you that these things here, these nebulizers which you have here inside, these are not real ultrasound nebulizers which you are used like uh, from this thing here which you can use to inhale some stuff like colloidal silver i i have this since long time it works pretty nice and it can uh, produce this really fine uh, fog here you can see that it's it's really strong it's it's uh, really fine uh, it never produces any large droplets here and that's the difference to this one here that's a really cheap thing it's i think it's not an ultrasound nebulizer this type of acs desktop acs they are using some kind of very cheap nebulizers not real ultrasound nebulizers probably it's because they are worried that people are using cheap water like uh, type water to fill this uh, in here and then it's clogging over time because these things are really sensitive you have to be really careful to use only like distilled water or you can use colloidal silver which is also produced with uh, distilled water then it's usually not a problem but they even advise to clean it every now and then with hot water so probably the manufacturers here wanted to avoid these problems so they were using uh, not a real uh, ultrasound nebulizers uh, something which is somehow producing still some fog but it's also producing some large droplets and that's the big problem and when we look at this thing i mean i've been running this for about 20 minutes or so and this is the result that this is what you can see underneath when you're running this without this uh, so-called filter mats and actually the thing is that this is not used for filtering this is also not used to create much more evaporation effect this is really i mean it would be working without this thing you would have still same cooling effect without the mat but the real big problem is really these droplets there are some big droplets there are some very fine uh, there's some really fine mist but there are also some big droplets produced by this uh, thing here by this unit and the whole water then is collected down here and over time if you would run this uh, over hours and hours it would fill up and overfill and then uh, flow onto your desk and this is prevented by these filter mats you can see they go to the very button and they will be then inside 
this tank here i mean it's not a really big tank but it, it still has some wall here on the side it's filling up and the end of the filter mats is then soaking up the whole thing and pulling this up and with the air from the fan it's drying air up uh, evaporating the whole thing and uh, adding a little bit to the cooling effect and the here with this unit unfortunately or all these kinds of units it, this thing is needed this is how this thing works yeah, <laughs> yeah unfortunately i can't give you a, a better recommendation on that I, I was also hoping for something better but unfortunately it's not the case that so we have to deal with this thing if you run this over a weeks and months and years it will look definitely very nasty ugly especially down here it will go uh, get hard and not really uh, functioning anymore so this is just something which will probably work uh, short term and not very long term i mean i'm not saying it's not working i have been testing this with my uh, laser temperature gun and has been showing cooler temperature at the exhaust here uh, in this area especially in, in in the center it's definitely delivering some uh, cooler air but also of course uh, way more moist air of course that's not a topic and i've been already covering that in the other video i don't have to cover this here if you want to see that you can uh, check my channel you will find the video there so unfortunately yeah a little bit bad news but i wanted to show you that and i hope the, this video helps you a little bit if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and we're always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time